This lesson covers data deduplication, which is a new feature in Windows Server 2012. Many organizations face the problem of users saving the same data over and over again, which wastes a lot of space on your file servers. Windows Server 2012 now enables a block level data deduplication. This means at periodic intervals, Windows Server 2012 data deduplication parses the file system, looks at the blocks that make up files, and will actually deduplicate those blocks into a single instance store. As I look at my system here, you can see my data drive has a deduplication rate of 36% and has saved 615 gigabytes thanks to that data deduplication. I have some flexibility on how the data deduplication works. For example, I could say only deduplicate data that's over a certain number of days old. For example, don't deduplicate any data that's within the last week. I can block certain types of file. I can exclude certain folders. I can say when the dedupe runs. So currently in my environment, it only runs the dedupe every Sunday at 10 p.m. But I could actually change it to say, run the deduplication every night from 10 o'clock for up to six hours. I can set a second schedule. For example, maybe on those same days, go and kick it off at 2 a.m or 4 a.m. or lunchtime. But realize there is an impact on the I.O. of the box. This is trawling through the file system looking for duplicate blocks. So ideally you would want to run this out of hours. There is the option to also run a background optimization. So this is constantly running in the background, but it's detecting the current usage of the system and won't interfere with production workloads. So I can configure when my deduplication should run and apply that. The data deduplication will not dedupe files that have an exclusive lock by an application. So what this means is, consider a virtual machine. The virtual hard disks that make up the VM are locked by the hypervisor. This means those VHDs would not be deduplicated. An exchange mailbox database, a SQL databases, they all have an exclusive lock by the service and so would not be deduplicated by the inbox deduplication service. All of this management can be done by PowerShell. So the easiest way to check what you can do is actually search for dedupe. This is gonna show you the various options you have for performing deduplication from PowerShell. One of the good ones is actually git dedupe metadata. So this will actually show you in detail the types of block sizes and the data that's actually being used as part of the deduplication work. So this is showing me the amount of data chunk counts, the average size, because it does use a variable block size to be as efficient as possible. I can view the status of my dedupe. So you can see how many files have been optimized on that particular volume and that space saving. I can start a dedupe job using the start dash dedupe job and then the type of optimization and really set all of those parameters. This technology is really aimed at your file servers. So where you do have a lot of duplication, Leverage this inbox data deduplication to really improve your utilization of space. If you are using a storage area network on the back end and it has its own data deduplication, I would not advise you also use the inbox deduplication. Deduping deduped data already is really going to give you minimal amount of benefit and will actually just cause additional overhead. So if you have deduplication built into your storage area network, don't use the deduplication on those same volumes through the Inbox Windows Server 2012.